One of the least discussed atrocities in the October 7th Hamas attack on Israel is coming into horrifying focus tonight. Stories of women sexually assaulted and brutally killed. Tonight, investigators from Israel are revealing eyewitness and victim accounts, some reviewed by NBC News. They describe gang rapes, the bodies of deceased victims bearing signs of mutilation, and what many endured in their final hours at the hands of terrorists. Tonight, President Biden calling the accounts appalling. The Israeli military, meantime, says it has killed several Hamas leaders as it steps up its ground war in the south. But that is also leaving Palestinian civilians with fewer and fewer places to shelter. We have to warn you tonight, some of the images and stories are quite graphic. Let's start with NBC's Hala Garani. On October 7th, Hamas attacked within Israel's borders with a wave of terror, murdering over 1,200 people, including entire families. And Israeli investigators say there is growing evidence that Hamas unleashed another kind of horror against women. Something so uh, horrific happened, um, and the world should know. We spoke to Mirit Ben Meir, who's helping lead the investigation of allegations of repeated rape and sexual assault by Hamas. Where does your investigation stand? Uh, we have uh, eyewitnesses that are slowly uh, arriving and giving testimonies. Disturbing accounts about October 7th, including this woman describing how a Hamas terrorist, quote, laid a woman down. He is raping her. Then they pass her on to another person, telling investigators the woman was alive and bleeding. Another chilling eyewitness account from Yoni Sadon telling the Sunday Times he was at the music festival where Hamas slaughtered hundreds of Israeli concert goers. He hid under dead bodies, saying he saw a, quote, beautiful woman with the face of an angel and eight or ten of the fighters beating and raping her. When they finished, they were laughing, and the last one shot her in the head, he said. Hamas has denied committing sexual crimes against women. Israeli officials say the investigation is challenging because most victims were killed. But among the evidence seen by NBC News, graphic photos of women's bodies with obvious signs of sexual assault, including some naked from the waist down. Some of the terrorists that are interrogated, they're saying that this was happening and this was done. First responders describing naked female bodies tied to beds. NBC News also reviewing this Hamas document that Israeli officials say was carried by Hamas militants on October 7th with instructions on how to say, take off your pants in Hebrew. The UN facing backlash for its response, some deemed too slow, including this protest Monday. Critics blasting the secretary general for taking seven weeks to publicly call for an investigation of Hamas and sexual violence. And the agency UN Women for not putting out a statement until last Friday. Tonight, the agency telling us in part, within days of the horrific attacks, UN Women began offering concrete support to the UN Commission of Inquiry, which is investigating these matters. We feel like the world has turned their backs. Miriam Schler runs a rape crisis center in Tel Aviv and says Israel's critics are downplaying, even dismissing, alleged Hamas sexual violence. You say that people can be opposed to what's happening to Palestinians, Absolutely. but at the same time they need Absolutely. to be you can, sympathetic. Yeah, I mean, th there's two things that don't have to women. do with each other. I feel for the suffering of Palestinian civilians. It has nothing to do with the fact mm -hmm. that there can never, ever, ever be an excuse for rape. And Hala, President Biden, as we mentioned at the top of the newscast, has been speaking out about this. What's he saying? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, he is saying that uh, the uh, sexual violence, the quote, sexual violence by Hamas is unacceptable and that the world cannot look away. The Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu as well, blasting what he calls the silence of women's rights organizations, Lester. Hala Garani, thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.